Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the desert, south of Hunter's View, building an Argosian home. A lot of you seem to enjoy the last build using the new Architects of Argos DLC, and I think I've barely scratched the surface with this DLC yet, so here's another one. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors, NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to 6 devices simultaneously including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me. Each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I started on this ridge building a fairly simple base plate using the Argosian square and wedge foundations. This is a very blocky base plate to start with, though I'll be making it more interesting on the inside with the new vaulted ceilings and such, to keep this build from looking too much like, well, just a box. I also added some wedge sections on some of the ground floor areas to augment the shape even more. Next for the walls. I firstly built a staircase down to the desert floor, and then started on the walls. Each floor will be two tiles high, and I'll be using windows quite liberally to get some natural light into the build. I also separated the main body of the house from the 3x3 square on the right, as I'll be using that as a stairwell tower. After building the walls up two tiles high, I then used square, wedge, and the new vaulted ceiling pieces to cap off the walls. Next for the first floor. I built the tower up again and used square and vaulted ceilings, and then started building the walls around the main house two tiles high again, this time including balconies over the wedge sections I placed on the ground floor.
Next for the roof, I first adjusted the ceiling of the second floor to add some extra verticality, and then built roof gables onto which I mounted a simple peaked apex roof. I then built support tiles to allow this roof one tile of overhang around the build, helping to make the outside of the build look even more interesting. I then built a pointed apex roof using rooftop end and junction pieces atop the tower, and finally placed doors around the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've managed to make the outside look interesting enough, so that it doesn't just look like a massive block, which is what I wanted to avoid. I've also lit the build with Argosian wall torches. Entering the build, we reach the lounge. 
This is a fairly minimalistic build, which is what I'm aiming for. However, even within this room, the classical Greek style is present in the vaulted ceilings, which I'll be using a lot. Attached to this room is a small workshop with an artisan table and some storage options, along with a balcony room that looks north to Hunter's View and the volcano. Heading out of the lounge, we reach the stairwell tower. This isn't anything too fancy, but using the Argosian pieces and vaulted ceilings, I've still managed to make it look and feel quite interesting. Reaching the first floor, we end up in the office space next to the bedroom. Again, this is designed to be quite minimalist, yet still looks elegant due to of course the vaulted ceilings and the abundance of marble. You can also access the smaller balcony from the office. Entering the bedroom, this is probably the largest room in the build, and is where I've made best use of verticality and curvature, using, of course, again, the vaulted ceilings. I've also used the new large tapestries to make the room look even more interesting and imply some structure. This bedroom is also attached to the larger balcony, again looking north. And there we have it, an Argosian home in the desert south of Hunter's View. Thanks for watching, I'm enjoying the Architects of Argos DLC so far, and I definitely want to do an Aquilonian and Argosian fusion build soon. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch, and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Also of course don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN, when you use code IRADYT at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link either in the description or the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is always in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, no matter how much you want to pledge, do feel free to consider becoming a patron. During the lockdown, the video previews are usually restricted to the $20 tier, and now available to the $10 tier and above, so that anyone that chooses to become a patron at $10 or above just has that little bit more content to watch. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Motels, and Dumfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Code Next Souls videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.